we're going to crude. So what we have is that we have the supply demand lines to the far left. And then we have market profile in the supply demand lines to the far right. And then below, I got my market delta lines. My market delta 5 sim, my little longer term, 5 sim Renko to pull us in the trade, and I, my smaller market delta that shows the sell or buy pressure between the bid and the ask. If it's a red market delta, it's a sell. If it's a green market delta, it's a buy opportunity. So the easiest way to trade the system is this. Is I got these supply demand lines. Those are generated, these light blue lines, they're generated by accumulation distribution on previous days or hours in the market. They're a leading indicator. They're not lagging, they're leading. So they show where the accumulation distribution has been in the market for the past to give us future possible buy entries and sell entries. So we can clearly see, blow this up, we can clearly see here's our supply line sell. So what I drew in, I drew an 80 for the sell this morning on my market delta before it came up and touched it. We had a sell, I'll show you in a second. And this was 42.40. So what you can do, you can see this, you have 42 supply line up here and a 42.40 supply line down here. And over here on your chart, you had 42.80. So here's 42.80 that I drew up because I had my market profile my big red line that overlapped my market delta, and it stopped it to the exact tick, the market. So this is a huge confluence level to short the market. Then we have another one here at 42.50 that just happened also. So what you do is you can actually draw your lines on top of the market delta to make it easy for you. So you can see my supply line was down here, or my demand line, I'm sorry. It came right down to it and gave me positive market delta for the buy entry. I then, this is a level I drew up in the room before it came up. I saw this had high value area that overlapped what? It overlapped my supply line. And the only two things you need to use in this room on any market, I don't care, any futures, any stock, any currency market, whatever you trade, indexes, doesn't matter. When my market profile and my supply line, demand lines overlap each other, you have major confluence. That's the only two indicators you need to use for support and resistance. So I marked up 4280. Market comes up to 4280. It's got to come within two ticks of it. It came up to 4279. The line I drew in was 4280 within one tick. Look at the negative market delta down here. Negative market delta turned red down here below. This is your entry bar. Right there. So then it came down again to 4240. We're allowed to take the trade on the first and second test off these supply demand lines, but no more than that. Because what we're looking for, for the third test through, we're looking for the market to break down through it. All right, so this is 46 all the way to 57, 11 ticks. You got your first target out, runner got stopped out. We're looking for this to break through the next time around. I had 51 that generated as a supply line right here at 51. 51 retested, negative market delta, and now we've got a short opportunity on our hands right now also. So you also can uh, put alert alerts on. So when you see these, you can double-click on your line, and you can put alerts on your lines. So you click on top of it, and you can actually put an alert when these lines are hit. So you can go in and see the supply demand lines and find out when they're hit. Now you can use a 3 sim also. The 3 sim Rinko is a smaller time frame, but it's the same thing. There's your entry. Positive market delta of my supply line, demand line, I'm sorry, 4240. This is the line I drew in the room before it came up to it. 4280. The live fill would have been the low of this bar, 4272. And we've got all the way down to 42.18. From 72, you're looking at a $600 potential trade already in 10 minutes. Actually, 15 minutes. 
$600 potential trade, risking $112 with a 12 tick stop per one contract. Then my supply line actually had bounced here, got your target, but then a 51 came in. We had a 51 supply line that came in right here. Give us another short opportunity. Right there, red market delta, stop loss, two ticks above the swing high on the three sim. Gives you an average about $112 stop. I mean $120 stop, sorry. $120 stop. That was a $600 potential trade rolling right now. This one, the live field have been the low of this bar. So you're 44 short. We're down all the way down to 15. You're talking about a $300 potential trade, risking 120 bucks on this trade. So put these on top. You can put these on top of your market delta. When you're entering these trades, you just got to make sure that you only mark on top of your market delta chart, you only mark down supply demand lines and market profile. That's all we got to do. All we got to do is track these levels. These levels are enough for us because they call the rhythm of the market. They are actual order flow coming in the market. It's not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is actual order flow coming in and out of the market and support, giving you support and resistance. That's why they're so accurate. That's how we nailed the top here this morning on crude before it came up. Okay, Gerald, go to the S&P real quick. The ES. All right, if we look at the S&P, we had a major resistance level right here. So look at my supply line, 3368.50. Look at this. Came out and smacked you right in the face. That's a big sell point. My 200-day moving average was exactly over top of it. Listen, I don't use moving averages per se. I like them for trend direction. But I love when my 200 overlaps my market profile or my supply demand lines. It seems like it turns the market on a dime. So 68.50, let's put it up. If you put 68.50 in the room, right there is 68.50. The market came up to it. Came right up to it. It came up to 68. 68 even. Remember, it's got to come within two ticks, not three, four, five ticks away. It's got to come in two ticks. That's how accurate this these supply demand lines are. It's got to come within two ticks. It came within two ticks of it. There's your negative market delta. Your entry is a low of that bar. The live field have been 65 and a quarter. We're all the way down on the demand line of 53. So you had one heck of an S&P short. That's 65 and a quarter short. Now we're down to 53. We're right on the demand line as we speak. Okay, that's a real big S&P short. This is not, we're not trying to, trying to scalp the S&P for one or two ticks or three ticks, four ticks. This is 65 down to 53. That's 12 S&P points. Over 40 ticks, over 40 S&P potential ticks, 40, 40, not one or two. You try to go from supply to demand, supply to demand line, market profile to market profile. That's why we stack these up over top of each other. I right, get these off. So you can put these supply demand lines and market profile lines over top of your market delta. Now in the room, what I do show to help you out if you're just viewing the room by itself, so... If I'm trying to trade the S&P, what I want to do is I want to put these levels, because they have the numbers right over top of them, beside of them, 33.68.50, 33.61.50, 33.54.50. Put them right over top of your chart, your, your entry chart. Put your market profile levels on top of your entry chart. Because what I did is I put the market profile over top of my supply demand, demand lines over here. All you need to do is trade off these two charts. Supply and demand and market profile levels. The most important profile levels are the big red, blue, and red levels. That's all the volume coming in the market. And these light blue lines. That's all we want to do over and over and over again. And let market delta pull you in. 